in this scenario, we're going to demonstrate the process of quote to cache. However, we're going to use two applications. We're going to begin with Dynamics 365 Sales and then use Dynamics 365 Business Central to process the order invoicing and customer management. So one of the simplest ways in which we see the blending of roles, responsibilities, is for individuals to use the applications that they're licensed to and also design for their use. So we'll begin by creating a sales quote and converting that quote to a sales order in Dynamics 365 Sales. Once the business has been completed and won, the Rules will convert the order to sales invoice into Business Central. We'll post that invoice and then convert to cash. So the first step is entering in a sales quote. So beginning in Dynamics 365 sales, the sales rep receives a call from a customer with interest in placing an order but needs a quote first. So here I am under my accounts that I follow, I select on a datum corporation and I'll just do the quick create and I'll create a quote for that customer. Now I'll enter in the name of the quote. So in this case here, it'll be new furniture quote for a datum. I'll select the price list. Now this is what is where we'll manage the cost as well as access to inventory. So we'll select business central as our system of record. And then I'll look up and select the customer datum. Select save and close, and we'll view the new record. Now the quote has been created, but I need to enter in the line items or enter in the products. So we'll go ahead and add a products. Now I can either use the existing inventory items or the integration does allow for sales representatives to put in a, a write in amount. Uh, we'll leave this as the existing product line items and I'll select the conference table and I'll select done. And so I've got one item. Here's the price per unit. It's aligned to this quote and we'll go ahead and save and close that out. The last step here is just to activate the quote. So now that quote is currently active. We'll go ahead and convert the quote to a sales order. So here I am within the quote and up at the ribbon, I'll go ahead and create a sales order and enter in the appropriate details in the description field to capture uh, the surrounding details around that win. I'll select okay. Now the order has been created. The last step is, is to submit it. And so since this is integrated to Business Central, that order will be submitted over to Business Central. So now as a sales representative, that's been passed on to Business Central for processing and invoicing, and I can continue on my current role and responsibilities. Now to convert the order to an invoice, again, the nice thing is this is fully integrated. So depending on the licensing that I have, it's very easy to switch between apps in Dynamics 365. It's much like the navigation you would do in navigating between all your other Microsoft cloud applications. I'll open up uh, Business Central here. Again, notice I didn't have to log in, log out of applications. And then over here at the top, I've got a shortcut to all of my uh, sales orders that are coming in from Dynamics 365 Business Central. This is the most recent order we just created. Now I decided to make this a manual process such that it needs to be reviewed first by accounting. We can certainly automate this process where these are orders that are automatically sent to the sales order tile. Uh, let's go ahead and create that in Business Central. So now you'll see here I have a sales order 1005. I have the conference table one and this is the external document, which is the name of the quote that I created in Dynamics 365 sales. We'll go ahead and post it. We'll do a ship and invoice. And now I've got a posted sales invoice and I'll go ahead and close that out. Again, next we'll send the invoice to sales. So here I've got all of my posted sales invoices in the list. 
The one I just created was 215. And I want to now make sure that the sales representative understands uh, where we are in the process without giving them a license to the financial application. So I can create that sales invoice into Dynamics 365 Sales. If I close that out, we'll go ahead and log in and review the sales invoice. So over in the top left navigation, I'll switch out of Business Central. I'll return back into the sales app. And down on the left side under collateral, on my navigation pane, there's invoices. And here you can see now I have an invoice. Notice it's billed. I'll talk a little bit about that. I mean, the invoice, now that it's billed, it means the customer has an open invoice, but they have not paid us yet. Once the payment is applied, that status will change. And again, you can see that status here in the top right corner as well. We'll convert this to cash so i'm back in business central i'll open up cash receipts journal i'll enter in the amount so again datum has paid us for the table i'll go ahead and select where that applies to this particular invoice the sales invoice ending in 215 and then i'll go ahead and post that and then if i want i can switch back to sales and then notice the status went from billed to paid. So that reflects the most recent activity. Again, as a sales representative, responsible not just for closing deals, but also managing that relationship between us, our business, and the customers, it's important that that information is displayed for them in the applications that they use. So again, in the process of quote to cash, we use Dynamics 365 Sales to run the quotes and we use Dynamics 365 Business Central to process the orders and invoices. You can see clearly the benefits. I'm able to reduce time and data entry and also able to respond quickly to our customers' needs.